Right, how's it going guys? I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of my um, Toyota Hi-Ace 1994 model, high roof, long wheelbase, uh, four wheel drive, high low ratio with the manual locking hubs. So first of all this is a, is a freshly built camper, um, it's been an absolute labour of love for myself. Um, I've done it from scratch and I've spent many thousands of dollars and many hundreds of uh, labour hours and um, yep it's it's been a great project so we'll just give you a bit of a walk through so first of all just walking around the body the first thing I did is I did a full replacement of the shock so it's got nice good off-road shocks um, I put the black steel rims on and the off-road tyres as well just to give you a bit of um, yeah a bit better sort of movement on those in those off-road conditions it's got the manual locking hubs which are quite rare in the high ace they're very hard to find so um, so that looks really slick. I also installed a snorkel, um, not so much for river crossings and things, although of course that's what they're made for, but it also gets your air intake nice and high, so it gets uh, good clean air, keeps it away from the dusty roads and things, keeps water out of your air box and stuff as well, so clean uh, filter, clean engine, clean air, so that always helps. Uh, regards to the body, the uh, high aces always seem to have a little bit of rust spots and things so the first one of the first things I did is I took it to the panel beater in town and he completely got rid of all the rust spots um, in the entire body so completely cleaned up the whole van doesn't have a spot of rust and then re-sprayed the whole thing so it's absolutely mint condition super slick as you can see tidy as just coming down here it's got a 240 volt um, plug as well, so you can plug in at campgrounds or just the average house plug. Perfect. It's got an electrical warrant of fitness, 2024. So it's been checked over. Yep, just coming back around the back here. So nice and clean, nice and slick. I've got some aftermarket um, decals on it as well. I think that looks really nice. Brand new self-contained certificate, only just got that done. So that's all good. It's coming around the back. Diesel exhaust, diesel heater exhaust. Has a diesel heater for the colder winter nights or any colder night. What I like about these vans of course is not only the super long wheelbase but the high roof. Um, so myself and my partner are quite short and we can pretty much stand up in the in the inside of it So it's absolutely great. It's got a 160 watt solar panel on the top So that keeps the batteries nice and charged It's also got a roof vent up the top there as well for when you're cooking and stuff inside So we'll just and just coming around the front I installed the King's light bar Just for night driving I'm not a big fan of driving at night and this thing here lights the road up, it turns night into day uh, so it just gives you a bit more peace of mind when you're driving at night, it completely lights up the whole world, it's really good. So just coming into the inside of the cab. Do you want to just have a look? What the, yeah, can like you see a, inside yeah. Here? Yeah. So inside the cab, a few things that I did is I put these seat covers on, this is pure New Zealand wool, they were $350 for the pair but they're uh, absolute pleasure to sit on, comfortable driving. Another thing I did is I put the false ceiling in and carpeted it, so it's complete storage up there. All storage. Yep, and, and the little latch actually doubles as the curtain for the hole there as well. So pretty standard in here otherwise. The only other thing I did is, I'll stay here. As I installed digital temperature uh, display, you can see that there. Can you see it? Mm, yep. Yeah. Okay. So what that allows you to do is keep an accurate eye on what the temperature of the engine is doing, um, right down to the very degree, and that way it's just going to stop any um, future uh, overheating issues or anything like that. You know exactly what the engine's up to, so that's a really good add-on. Otherwise it's pretty standard in the cab here. Do you want okay, me to stop it to have a look first? No, it's 
It's okay. It's okay because okay, I oh, can cut, cut it, cut it yeah. stuff. Just going inside the camper now. So we head on inside. As you can see, just coming into the kitchen area. Plenty of storage. Plenty of room for pantries, pots and pans. Yeah, heaps of room there. You've got these little cubbies on the front here as well, which are great for storing cell phones and things while they're charging. You've got USB chargers and 12 volt chargers here. You've also got a 12 volt, um, 240 volt plug here run off your inverter. Nicely tiled in the, um, the kitchen area so that acts as a, um, as a bit of a splashback so you can, any grease and stuff you can wipe off, no worries. Got your little holders and your teas and coffees and things there. Ripped out the aircon system. So completely gutted the aircon system in the back here and turned it into two very usable cupboard spaces. Heaps of room in there. Yep. So that's awesome. You've got your little sink and stove here. So that's great, that folds away. Giving you the nice clean bench space as well. Um, that's quite a neat little unit. LED lights throughout. LED lights throughout, you can, each of them you can turn on and off. Yep, another one under here as well. So you can have different lighting moods. Also the one in the centre. A really big one there for lightening up over your dining area. Awesome. So the other thing we have in the kitchen of course is the 50 litre fridge. 12 volt, 24 volt, 50 litre fridge. Absolutely brand new. Isoco, $1200 unit. Comes with a little freezer box that works really well. This thing is very low draw. Um, and uh, we've had this thing running for days and it only gets the battery down to about 94% um, With your solar panel going of course, so it's um, really low draw and it just runs for days and days Cutlery cupboards Gray and fresh water tanks in here Your gas for your, your cooker Yep, all that sort of stuff Little rubbish bin Everything in there Another little cupboard space in here little odds and ends, a bottle opener we put the chopping board and drink drinking water and things like that in there okay now coming into the living area as you can see a big u-shaped couch throughout really comfortable heaps of room to sit down and chill out you can get four or five people around this really comfortably um, heaps of headroom really comfy thick squabs as well so um, plenty of room to sit here and play some cards and have your dinner and bits and pieces. And then of course this table doubles as the bed. It all folds down and we can show you that a bit later on. So that's cool. Really comfortable and looks really slick with the grey and the, the cream coloured um, squabs as well. So, yep. Now just underneath the squabs here, every one of them has plenty of storage. So heaps of storage underneath, lots of cubby holes all the way through. So heaps of room to store stuff. On this other side, we come over here, and this is where all the electrics are kept. So you got your battery, um, your V uh, VSR there as well, your battery charger. Um, the inverter's down here, and this is your solar charge controller and your isolator switch down here as well. So everything's nice and tidy under there, all out of the way. Nice and clean, you don't have to worry about that. Another feature I wanted to add is the wood look through the ceiling. Um, so the van's completely insulated, as you can see on the walls. Everything's insulated. Um, so under floor, under ceiling, everything, so it's super warm. And then I lined it with this beautiful native Rimu tongue and groove, and that's come up really well, it looks great. So it's a little bit different than the typical pine look that's just been colored. This is all natural, um, native, and it looks absolutely slick. So that's cool. Got some speakers in the back here as well. Speakers in the front, speakers in the back. 
and up in the front there you've got a little switch so you can select whether you have the music in the cab or the music in the back here. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Just looking at your little control panel here. So set up set up the little control panel. You've got your US more USB plugs, 12 volt plug there as well, the charging bits and pieces. Got all your all your little plugs for your lights, your diesel heater the inverter um, switch, uh, your fridge, and your water pump there as well. So electric water pump, of course. Um, and then a Renergy battery uh, monitor here as well I installed. So that's a really good unit. Reasonably expensive, but it's worth having. It tells you exactly what's happening here. 100 amp hour battery, completely full at 100%. The arrows are showing that it's charging at the moment via the um, solar panel as well. And that'll let you know what the fridge and everything's drawing. Um, as well as what you're charging and all that sort of stuff, you can keep a good eye on your electrics. Two extra storage is here. That's where your toilet is. And you can fit some shoes and stuff in behind that as well, so that's quite good. And then in the top here, you've got a whole heap more storage in there as well. So storage cupboards everywhere. Nice and deep, nice and long. Looks really good. Perfect. Okay, just come around the back here. There's a little cubbies here as well, under the back. And this is where you keep your shower. So I've got a, a rechargeable shower unit that plugs onto the, the side of the van. Um, and you drop it in a bucket of warm water and that just charges away. You get about four hours running time on that. That's all your leads for your 240 volt camping ground or house charge. In here you've got your fuel tanks for the diesel heater. So one and a spare, so 10 litres last for weeks and weeks. And of course some of the is the diesel heater itself. switch that on via remote control and it warms the van up in about five minutes. Absolutely mostly warm. Okay, you can stop it now if you like that. How can I stop? Just to put that? Um, the video? Yeah, already. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now guys is just show you how to convert the bed, uh, the table and the couches into a nice queen size, uh, very comfortable bed. The first thing we do, we get rid of this swap here. We don't need that. Table comes off. And then all we do is just rearrange all your squabs. And a big, beautiful, absolutely comfortable queen size bed. <sighs> that side did not do that properly. That so you can fit, eh? That, that side. Plenty of room in here, and it's a great spot to, to lie down here, cushions up the back, put a laptop up on the thing there, watch a movie at night time. Absolute bliss. Project. And then if you want to turn it back into a table, of course, it's just a matter of rearranging those spots.
It's okay. Down? I think so. Yeah. Okay, so another thing of course is when you're cooking in a confined space like this or even when you're running the diesel heater it's good to get some uh, airflow. Um, so of course you've got lots of windows that you can open up but if it's raining and that's not always ideal you've got this roof vent here especially when you're cooking. Just wind it up. Mosquito net as well and that gives you a nice airflow through the van as well as um, yeah, ventilate, ventilation for while you're cooking. And that looks really nice with on the rear view ceiling here as well. A couple of other safety features, of course, is the fire extinguisher in the back there. It's always handy to have. And one of the most important is the carbon monoxide alarm mounted down here, nice and low. Um, so at night time, if the gas bottle's leaking or anything like that, that's going to pick that up and that's going to... Sound the alarm.